this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 14th through to about the 20th 2022 this is a reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs so guys I would like to say welcome to all of you welcome to my new subscribers as well Thank you all for being here with me today. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. What does Virgo have coming up for this week, please, Virgo? Okay. Wow. First card out, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot. So... All right, Virgo. You have some majors here. So these cards were upright. That's why I took them. So if you're new and you're wondering what I'm doing, I do prefer the jumpers. And if I get a bunch of cards where some of them are upright, those are the ones that I'm going to go with. All right. Let's see, Virgo. Okay. Oh my Virgo. We have the five of swords. We have the seven of swords. Okay. Virgo. We have the three of pentacles. It landed in the reverse. For some of you, you, you have something going on at work. There's some sort of drama going on maybe in the workplace or this could be a money dispute. Pretty powerful energies here, Virgo. What does Virgo have coming up for this week? We have the Emperor. The Ace of Pentacles. So now we just need an overall energy. What is the overall energy? Wow, for Virgo. We have death. All right, so change is coming in. You have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are trying to hold your position. Maybe you're scared you're going to lose it for some of you. I'm definitely getting this, this nervous energy here. If not you, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, I'm definitely seeing this, this drama change is coming in though um so i i really feel like this is this is um this is something that's been ongoing and i feel like this this situation this drama is about to actually end it's done and so know that virgo change is coming in you have death You have the seven of wands. For some of you, maybe maybe you had to fight for this change with the seven of wands. This is a very defensive energy. It's a protective energy. It's you standing your ground. It's, it's you not backing down. It's, it's you standing up for yourself. Ooh. This is you, maybe, for some of you, this is you protecting your savings, uh, protecting, you know, anything of value. That can be your job. For some of you, you're trying to hold your position or fighting for a new position. And maybe you work in a very competitive environment. If you resonate with that, you have to be careful um, with these people that you have around you because some of them are not on the up and up um you have some shady characters or a shady character around you but 
I feel like I don't have to tell you that. You've been dealing with this person. You may feel like this person betrayed you. Ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. You also have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here in the spread. And these two came out together. And so I'm reading for some Virgos where you went to battle with somebody or you're doing that right now. Now, this could be a legal dispute that's coming up for, for some of you. It could be due to... I mean, it could be a death. I mean, a, a death in the family or for some of you, um, something of value. Maybe someone took something from you with the Seven of Swords. Someone could have stole something. Something that is of value to you, Virgo. You know, it's not okay. Seven of Wands, it's not okay. So, you know, this is you fighting back. This is you saying, no, that's mine and you feel betrayed this person this person or these people because for some of you this can be a situation involving uh, a number of different people i think you feel betrayed by them ten of swords the worst is is behind you the worst is is over with change is coming in but this is a very painful situation, very painful, tough situation. And maybe some of you that I'm connecting with, you really had to, to fight. You really had to defend yourself. It wasn't easy. And I think that, yeah, look at this. You trying to manage and just it just cope with, you know, this pain and this heartache and maybe still take care of other things that you have to, you know, take care of. Family, the home, you still have to do your job, whatever it is, you know, you've been trying to manage. And I think that it's been very difficult. Now, what some of you have done and I think that this is to protect yourself, is you've pulled back. Yeah, to heal. I mean, this is you pulling back, separating yourself from this, and you've needed this time to heal. And you will, and you're going to come back stronger than ever, Virgo. Look at this. You have judgment. You have the six of wands. So... Those Virgos where you've separated yourself, you're spending time alone, you're not in maybe uh, a negative environment, you could have distanced yourself with a chariot here. I do see you healing. I see you healing. It's going to take some time. But you will rise up and you will, you will actually... For some of you, um, you're going to rise up in a big way here. And when you step out, it's like, yeah, bitches, I'm back with the Six of Wands. That's what I'm getting with Judgment and the Six of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune here in the spread, the Chariot, the Emperor. I mean, this could be you taking back your power. You have death. So death is great change, transformation. Things will never be the same. You could be transforming your beliefs. You could be changing and growing, Virgo, and transforming in a number of different ways. I'm just seeing what I'm getting. For a few of you, there may have been a death in the family, and I'm definitely reading for some of you where you maybe don't trust someone or maybe even multiple people. You don't trust a situation. Maybe you feel like, you know, maybe someone took something that wasn't theirs. I see you very protective of yourself because you've been hurt so badly in the past you do not want to get hurt again and so I see you very very protective of yourself which is great 
you know, that there's, you know, nothing wrong with that. And so you may even have a little bit more of a, an edge or an aggressive approach here. Um, a little bit more of an aggressive energy at this time. But you're healing and everybody heals different. And I think that this is, this is you healing, Virgo. And so maybe you're coming off in a certain way. And people around you may not like it. But you're healing and you got to do what you got to do. And so maybe someone took a job from you or uh, maybe you were waiting on a promotion and somebody else could have got it, but maybe it was supposed to be yours. There's something like that going on here. And so you feel cheated. Seven of swords, five of swords. You feel cheated. You feel played. For those of you where this is on the love front, you, you know, maybe you were dealing with this emperor or maybe you were dealing with a knight, which could be someone younger. You feel played and you may feel cheated. Maybe this person cheated on you. Whatever they did, I see you um, coming through very strong, though. You're tough. I mean, you're guarded, but you're tough, you know? And again, this, this was a learning experience. And we have the Ace of Pentacles here. There's a new beginning. And so if you didn't get that promotion or that raise, for those of you where a job ended, there's something better that's coming in. You know, I am reading for some of you where you are in a higher level position. And maybe you work in a competitive environment or a field and so maybe maybe the company that you work for they could have cheated you in some way but this is you actually moving towards a better job a better yeah a better position where you feel more financially secure and there's success here on this path and so this was meant to happen. Wheel of Fortune, Death with the Emperor here. This was meant to happen. Let's pull you some additional guidance cards. So yeah, it is very specific, Virgo. But it's not bad because, you know, this, this already happened. This major betrayal or this loss, it's already happened. You're going through the healing process. Okay. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. So maybe this whole experience, it could have humbled you. Like I just mentioned, you learned a lot. It was a learning experience. Maybe you trusted some people, but you know, you've learned, you've learned. Maybe a Leo is significant. We do have, we have your full moon actually. This is the Virgo full moon coming up here this week. I mean, full moons are, are all about completion, right? And I mean, change is coming in. You have the wheel of fortune, you have death, and you have the chariot. So. To be honest, with the Knight of Swords being the first card out, Virgo, I mean, this could be you just taken off. You could be ghosting someone. You could be taking action. It's a more aggressive energy. This could be you ending something here, telling someone no. And this could be you jumping in the driver's seat. I mean, this could be physical travel for some of you. This is you taking off. Full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Now, a Scorpio may be significant. You do have death as the overall energy, so a Scorpio definitely may be significant. But this is definitely a tense situation. I mean, these energies, there's some drama, there's something that you've been dealing with. It's a very painful experience. Um, but, you know, it's coming to a close. Breathe. 
I mean, some of you are ready for a fight. I'm going to keep it real. I mean, this is, this is a battle, but I feel like you're already in it. And I mean, you're coming through very, very strong. Now, you could be, um, for some of you, you could be taking someone to court. This is going to be a legal battle for some of you. Especially those of you where you feel like someone took something from you. They stole something from you. All right, additional guidance for Virgo, please. I mean, it couldn't resonate more. Look at this, Virgo. It's number 11, Dragon Power. Ah, and there goes the radio in the back <laughs> in the next room. And so this happened, I believe it was your reading before, Virgo? I think so. Yeah, where I have this little, um, this little radio in the next room. And I believe it was your reading last month or the month before, I can't remember exactly. Uh, uh, it turned on by itself and it just did again. So I don't know if you can hear it in the background. But anyways, um, someone in spirit definitely could be saying, hi Virgo, I'm with you as you go through this. I'm with you, Virgo. I believe it was your sign before. Look at you, you have the power to handle whatever it is that you're up against at this time. Let's see, we have Gemini. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the Knight of Swords here. This, that's my Gemini card. Let's see what else we get for Virgo. All right, so we have Gemini, Capricorn, and we have water. <laughs> all right virgo i wish you the best of luck let me know in the comments how this resonates for you all right guys i hope that you found this reading helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed have a good week virgo